Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a single product review for you and it is something that has been requested of me recently. It's a review of the new L'Oreal Matte Magic Compact Powder. I don't know what's the full name. Let me see this. Matte Magic All-in-One Matte Transforming Powder. Okay, but it's just basically a powder compact. So I've had this for I think about a month now. Yeah, definitely a month. And this is like the only powder I've been using in this time. So I am like totally ready to give you all of my insights on this powder. So first of all, this is the box and the whole color scheme for this particular powder. It's a nice bright hot pink. I've been really into pinks lately. If you can see from my manicure. So I like the color. It's a very blue toned bright fuchsia. The shade that I have is either the darkest shade or the second darkest shade. I'm not really sure. It's called G7 Golden Amber. I bought my powder online. It was just easier. I'm going to put a link uh, down below so you can buy it also. If you'd like, you can of course go to a shop also and buy it. Um, but I think I would recommend that you, you know, make the decision about the powder shade yourself because I know that the sales assistants do like to suggest um, a lighter shade of powder because Indians are really into fairness and they'll say that you look fair with that but you really look bad because if you don't get a good shade match it only looks cakey i was really happy that they have a, a like a pretty dark shade also a medium dark they don't have like really dark shades we still need to get there but nice medium dark shade this is a good match for my skin tone because i know that maybelline clear glow compact which i have used sometimes as well as the za1 don't even have a color this dark it's lighter so to even get this shade is a huge triumph. One more thing that's really impressive about this powder, like straight off the bat, is the price. It costs just Rs. 400, 399, which is very reasonably priced, especially for a L'Oreal product. L'Oreal products, whether it's lip products or combacks, can be pretty expensive. I was really impressed with this price because it's a very affordable price and uh, all the more I wanted to buy it really quickly and try it out so I did. The back of the box says it's the first magical matte all-in-one powder infused with volcanic perlite, a natural yet powerful sebum absorbent. So sebum is one of the things that's responsible for making your skin oily really fast. It says magical result. It uh, Primes your skin, polish skin perfection that lasts 12 hours shine free, okay. It perfects your skin, it covers pores and minimizes appearance of all blemishes and skin imperfections. It brightens your skin with impeccable instant fairness. I think companies think that they have to put this on a product if they want Indians to buy it, which really sucks. Not really impressed with this one. Enjoy a just out of shower, fresh finish and sensation. To use, you can apply it with the sponge and suitable all over face and neck, non comedogenic and dermatologically tested, allergy tested, etc. So this is what the compact itself looks like. The packaging wise, it's both good and bad. It looks really attractive. It's quite compact, like truly compact. It's small. I have powder compacts that are a lot larger, but this is small and will fit in your bag really easily. But on the downside, compared to many other brands, I did find that it feels flimsy and if it falls down or if you handle it roughly, it might break. It hasn't broken with me yet, but uh, you can just feel the quality of the plastic. It doesn't feel that great. Uh, I like how it's designed inside though. I'm going to show you. It opens rather easily. So this is transparent and even I was like, where's the mirror? Because if there's a powder compact, there has to be a mirror. But it's at this lower level down here. Here is the mirror. And here is also the sponge. It comes with a sponge. I don't use the sponge that much, but here it is. I like that you can sort of keep the sponge away from the powder. That does keep things more hygienic, I think. So let's talk about the powder itself. My skin is very sensitive and many powders sort of set it off into really bad breakouts. The MAC, um, what's, what's that called? What's the MAC powder compact called? I own it. It's in some sad corner of my house but still it is a powder compact from mac so long story short i bought that last year yes last year but over a year ago now i was excited about the claims but my skin doesn't agree with it at all and i kind of got very bad breakouts every single time i used it and i realized that okay i just can't use it anymore and i did feel bad because it wasn't cheap so and you can't return stuff in India after you've used it. I know that in US and all you can do that if a product doesn't agree with you or if you weren't happy with it. But you can't do that here. 
and that's a bunch of money down the drain. So I'm never buying a MAC powder ever ever again but uh, this one agrees with me. I've been using it very regularly without any issues. So that is like at the top of the list for me. The powder is medium coverage powder, uh, like so which is quite good. I don't think you can just get any high coverage powders, but medium coverage is really nice. I think um, it's a very, I don't know, soft, finely milled powder because even when I sort of touch it with a brush or whatever, it comes out from the compact really easily. It's not like completely packed and thick there, but comes out really easily because there was like the L'Oreal name embossed in this powder but it's long gone because it's really soft. I do think that it gives a really nice finish on the skin because I'm sure you're probably looking at my skin right now and you can see some imperfections especially here. Let me point this out to you. There's one really annoying thing here. But overall, I haven't used a foundation in months. In many many months, I haven't used one since December or Jan. All the base that I use nowadays is just some concealer. I use the MAC Select Moisture Cover Concealer, which is good and I would repurchase. And I use any powder, or just any powder like this, like a compact powder on top. It doesn't give me a perfect base. I'm sure like um, imperfections do show through, but I think that um, I like it's a very breathable light base for me. This is what I've been wearing as the only base just concealer and this and I'm really impressed with how it looks on my skin because I think that it does like blend nicely into your skin and um, it even if you look at your skin closely it really looks like skin you don't see it doesn't produce a cakey effect in any way and uh, it does improve the appearance of my skin but it just looks like skin still I'm really liking that part of it about the 12 hour shine control, no, I would say it does not live up to those claims. But I don't mind because though I have oily skin, I'm not after the completely matte look. I do want like some kind of little bit of shine. And I will touch this up like even throughout my day, especially if I'm going to be photographed or if I want to take a selfie. I will quickly touch up this powder and uh, that is all. Now also I put like a light layer and you can see some shine on my face but I don't mind that, that's all I'm saying. But if you are like the kind of person who is after a fully matte look, then um, yeah this is not going to, like it didn't impress me that much on the matte side of things but I don't mind. Another thing that probably makes a difference for me is that I always always apply it with a brush. I don't apply it with the sponge. I've just gotten so used to applying any powder with a brush. Uh, my favorite brush to apply powder with is the Real Techniques Multitask brush. I do use this so much. But other than that, um, from Real Techniques, the powder brush is also really good. It's got a very big head, like a, you know, lots of bristles. And um, the retractable Kabuki brush also is nice. That's what I travel with, like when I'm going out and that also gives a really nice finish. Uh, personally, I like using powders with brush and if you've never done that, I would highly suggest buying any kind of nice fluffy brush and trying it out because it makes a difference. The powder looks so much better and you get the benefits of a powder like nice and even toned without ever it looking powdery or cakey. So I've kind of talked about all the points that they claim. I have said that it doesn't mattify so much but I don't mind. I really like uh, the texture of it. I really like how it looks on my skin. And uh, when I bought it, I wasn't expecting something out of this world or I wasn't expecting like their claims to completely hold true. I thought that would just be just another powder compact and to me they're all the same. But um, yeah, I like the shade selection and it has really impressed me. More than the powders that I already have, it has impressed me. Once this is over, I would definitely repurchase the same thing because I think I have found a new favorite powder. So that's about everything that I have to say. Uh, if you have any questions relating to this powder or something, feel free to ask them below and I will try to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. And also think about subscribing to my channel because I make new videos like this really regularly. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.